thought I would take you on a quick tour of using Astra image on Mars. Here you see a stack uh, using Iris, a stack of, of a red channel on Mars, and it's at uh, 3x resampling using my 5x power mate, so it's pretty beefy large. Uh, and this is what it would be like if it was original sized. Hit it, that's 200%, and then half of that is. 100%. So that's an original size raw stack in average seeing. Uh, I'll show you a single, just a random, this is, happens to be image 10. So that's the upscaled single frame there. Okay, and you can see a fair amount of detail there. We'll go back to the stack. Here is the stack. This is a stack of 600. Now what I usually do, this is a, a FIT file, it's auto-saved with the iris script as R0, so I usually go over to Astra image, and we'll go ahead and load that particular one up. I keep a little list of shortcuts here, Astra image shortcuts, so there's R0, okay, so there it is there, and what I've been doing is fooling around with uh, Lucy Richardson deconvolution, and I like this one here, a curve with the 5 and 10 iterations, so you can go ahead and hit the preview there looks a little weird here but when you when you hit it say okay uh, it's gonna finish processing the whole image obviously it looks a lot better it just takes a little while da, da, da. I have to figure out how to pause these videos nice thanks for hanging in there with me there you go so you see a fair amount more detail come out uh, and what I've been playing around with is typically I've taken that and put it directly into iris and then hit it with wavelets uh, slightly but if I hit it again with an ME deconvolution with a curve with a 5 again, but only 9 iterations, the ME deconvolution, maximum entropy, it adds a little bit of noise, but that's okay because it's 3x upscaled. And when you, when you resize it back down to either 100, 150%, 200%, you can go crazy with it. Uh, it, it looks okay. So a little bit of noise at this level is, is all right. You can push it kind of hard. Um, but what I found is you can, much like a sponge, you can bring this thing with a lot of wavelets and a lot of sharpening and it gets real noisy but when you hit it back on the other end uh, soaking it in water soak that sponge in water with a little bit of um, gauss or blurring tools it kind of springs back to where it was so you can i've found you can really drive yourself nuts just springing that back and forth and, and, and it'll always keep most of its original shape obviously too much is still too much but so anyway, uh, go ahead and save this as that, okay? And when you come back over here to Iris, you can load that one up. It is in the same spot here, right? There you go, okay. And if you re resize it down maybe once and then hit it with some wavelets. Oop, that's not it. Hit it with some wavelets, here you go. And you can you can hit it a little harder, right? Now, that's pretty that's pretty rough. That's a little too much. So I might not go that much, but again, I'm just kind of giving you some ideas here. So you bring it back down. That's original size, right? That looks pretty good. It's a fair amount of detail. You kind of saw soup to nuts how uh, this is all made. Obviously, I would do this for each of the channels. I had been sharpening them with wavelets in iris after assembling them as a color image, and that might not be the best way to do it. Yeah. There you go.